Merry Christmas and Happy New Year! Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna break it. <gasps> it's our last video for this year, and guess what? He knows. He knows what your dirty ass did this year. You think no one was watching? He was watching! Since this is the last video for this year, I thought we'd end it with also the last episode for this year of G Plus Hacks with Lazy. G Plus Hacks with Lazy. Do you have a cat? Because I have a cheap life hack for you. Are they always ruining your furniture? Yeah, they're scratching, I know, right? So, the best solution is cat nail caps. Not only do they look pretty, but they're also so cheap, like $7 for a hundred of these, and they don't hurt your cat, so it's a win-win situation. Oh, looks like we got someone's attention, and all it took was a treat. Here you go. Talking about cats, we're gonna be watching Millionaire Substitutes Tuna with Cat Food. Millionaire? This is my family room, and again, this is not the fanciest furniture, but for a family room, it's nice furniture. They were a free gift about 30 years ago. You can't kill these things. You can dance on them. She's already triggering me. I can't believe she's a millionaire and she already made this place look so cheap. You know, it really does have that cheap feeling. Let's not even talk about the TV. It feels like a TV from 1995 or something. I was born in 1996 and I had one of these TVs. Like, it's bringing back childhood memories. It's 2023. This was shot in like 2018 or something and she has one of these old ass TVs. And I'm just gonna say that she's lucky that I'm not the producer. I would have done something unspeakable because she's already triggering me. No, keep dancing, you're perfectly fine. I just need to get this close shot of you. Just a little closer. Yeah, right there. Amy has a beautiful home. It's large, it's Who's spacious, this? and she has nice furniture in it, but you don't see a lot of extras. You don't see a lot of expensive things. This is nice furniture? Am I the only one that doesn't think that this is nice furniture? The house just looks so cheap. Yes, it's big. It looks like a bougie big house, but is this considered nice furniture? Like, what are rich people smoking? And she has nice furniture in it. I swear to God, rich people have like the worst taste on earth. There's no need to spend a fortune to look like you have expensive things. You don't. Does not own what? a state-of-the-art TV. I don't have a flat screen TV. I got this lovely big box thing. You know things are bad when there's a boomer old lady making fun of your old TV. An old lady is making fun of your old TV. I would have ended it right there. You are a millionaire. A mill, a m With a capital M. What is the purpose of having all that money if you can just buy a nice TV for yourself? I bet it's 12 years old at least. <laughs> An old lady! These are great because you can reuse them over and over and over again um, until they Why? start going. <laughs> or the picture goes all wonky on you. Why would you reuse old tapes? She's probably watching the same movie over and over and over and over and over and over and over. The old lady is roasting the shit out of her. I might be 78 years old and there's powdered milk coming out of my titties. But hey, you know what? At least I'm not as old as her TV. My ex-husband and I decided to divorce and he insisted he that gave I her the, the house. She got lucky. Amy oh, that's won't him? pay anyone to clean her home. Her ex-husband volunteers to do it for free. What? If you could start and do the, the toilet, that needs it the worst. Oh, I thought the husband was throwing it back there for a second. Did anyone see the position? Like, who cleans a toilet like that? Cash. I got a call to me. What did you say? Where did you want me to clean again? Oh, you want me to clean this spot right over here? Yeah, I got it. Uh-huh. How about this other spot over here? Is this good for you? 
This pot right here? Uh, yeah, I got it. Wait. There we go. Is this good for you? I'll clean it right now. Do you also want me to clean your wall right there? I can do it. Trust me. I can. Oh, you don't? Oh. Something weird is going on with this relationship. If they were so rich that he gave her the house and they have all that money, why is he himself cleaning her house for her where they could pay like $400? Her ex-husband volunteers to do it for free, saving her $400 a month. $400 is basically nothing for them. I get the wife is like super cheap, but I'm pretty sure he can afford it. So why is he letting her boss him around? I wonder if this is one of those submissive relationships you know those guys that love to be submissive like a daddy dom daddy daddy mommy girl mommy boyish something freaky is going on here and i'm not talking about the husband throwing it back for us I got a call, tell me meet me. and don't forget to get under the rim because you missed that a lot oh my god I'm glad to help her around the house with the cleaning i do yard work this is like free exercise for him Keeps him in shape. Win, win, win all the way around. A thousand percent mommy boyish, vibish, kinkish relationship. He wants to be submissive and she's the controlling one. If they love it, hey, that's fine. Good for them. Two consenting adults. I'm not judging here, but I am going to judge because this is the internet. The real question is, if they both love it, why did they divorce? I came to her house. She asked me, did I want lunch? So I said, sure. She fixed me a tuna fish sandwich. As I'm eating the sandwich, I'm thinking, it's this is a little fishy. What is this? First of all, it's fish. What do you mean this is a little fishy? She gave you a tuna fish sandwich. Obviously, it's going to be fishy. What were you expecting out of a tuna fish sandwich? Like, was she expecting to smell beef or chicken out of a tuna fish sandwich? <laughs> I mean, I know it's just an expression, but the way she said that. She fixed me a tuna fish sandwich. As I'm eating the sandwich, I'm thinking, this is a little fishy. She actually gave me a tuna fish sandwich. And as I'm eating, I was like, this tuna fish sandwich has this fishy smell. Is this fish or is this tuna? Because I'm allergic to fish. I can't eat fish. This is fish? Here, maybe some tuna fish. Oh, She's great. not going to give it to her no, husband. I don't think Amy has actually ever fed anyone cat food. I wouldn't put her past her to try. Why is it true? Fish for people, 89 cents. Cat food for cats, 59 cents. The mmm. Mm. As if he was having one of those expensive French desserts. He was like, Le pinceau de l'amour? Mmm, I can't even eat a cat treat. And you know what the ingredients in this cat treat are? Ingredients, chicken breast. Literally just chicken breast and, and I can't even... <sighs> Hell no. Something freaky slash fetish slash kinky as fuck is happening here and I don't know what it is. I just saved 30 cents. Mmm, that's good. Oh my God. Ew! I get income in a variety of ways. One is managing my rental properties. The other is managing my investments in a brokerage fund. What is the whole point? She has all these businesses, but she's feeding her husband cat food to save 30 cents? Bitch, you're a millionaire! You probably make that shit in a millisecond. She probably takes the deep breath once. <sighs> I just made a hundred bucks. What is the whole point of being a millionaire? If you're gonna be so extremely cheap. Like I get, yes, save your money, but to save 30 cents and give your husband cat food? Dude, the crazy look at the end when she said, I just saved 30 cents. I just saved 30 cents. Hmm? I just saved 30 cents. I'm allergic to tuna. I'm allergic, I'm allergic, I'm allergic to tuna. Oh my god. Is he is he dead? Oh my god, he's dead. Now I have to pay for his funeral. <laughs> oh my god. Unless 
I have regular business trips to LA, so I drive my car. My car is a 96 Mustang. It's the, lovely. Some people call it the beast. The beast? I'm all Your beast is on life support right now. Also, us guys, when we have a penis, 0.00001 inch bigger than the average size. Not to brag or anything, but you know, some people do like to call it the beast. What? Who's some people? You know, just people like that I've slept with, like, you know, a couple of friends, they've seen it. Okay, it was my mom when I was a kid. You don't have to make me feel bad about it. Then she has a slight vibration from the steering wheel going at all speeds. Wow. So yeah, you're just completely bald on there. Wow. Like the tire or her? You need. We got the windshield issue. We got the belt issue. Right. So the beast is as dead inside as it looks on the outside. Where is she going with this car? The beast looks like it should have been retired 50 years ago. Is this a wig? Why does it look like it's a... I just noticed. Is she wearing a wig? Yeah, it looks like the tire here is bald, just like you. What? I mean, the tire is balding. Oh, I see. No, I meant the tire needs to be replaced, just like your wig. Excuse <laughs> you, what the f All these safety issues going on right now, I feel very uncomfortable letting you leave my facility with the car in this shape. Hey Mike, this is Amy. I need you to come get me at the stupid garage. They say I can't take the car away because oh. it's it's unsafe on the road and I gotta get to my business meeting tonight. I'm gonna have my ex-husband come and pick me up. Hey Mike, I'm gonna need you to pick me up because I'm at this stupid garage where they told me that my car is not good for driving at all because they're scared that uh, I might kill a lot of people. Like they weren't even worried about me. They said, lady, I hope, to, I hope you die tomorrow because you're a bitch and you've been treating us like shit. I'm just scared about the people that you might be killing with your stupid car. And I'm like, what? I'm a good driver. So far out of four dogs that I've ran over, two of them actually made it out alive. Yeah. And I always speed on my yellows so I don't get stuck behind a red. You're such a good driver. And they stop. I know. She'll try to find a pilot that's got an empty plane or something like that. And what? Entice them to give her a ride. Oh my God. She's going to seduce one of the pilots. Okay, why don't you wait here and let me show you how it's done. Well, I need to get a flight to LA. I'm desperate to get there today. If this actually works, I'm gonna be so mad because if her ass that she doesn't even have one is able to pull this off with that personality then something's going on these guys must be on the edge of just busting one if they're willing to just fall for anything how horny can men possibly be that they would just say yes to giving a free flight oh my god and i need to get a free flight am i tomorrow Maybe no tomorrow? i have to go today he's not gonna be ready to go for a couple of days i understand you know there's a guy out here you might see him his name's mike okay you really can't stick out your thumb and get an airplane ride yeah we're kind of busy uh we did just use our hands a couple of minutes ago so we're not that desperate but there's a uh, mike over there Right, yeah, Mike, right there. She, he's been waiting for the right one. <laughs> I know, the right one. Good luck, Mike. He's been a virgin for 40 years. So uh, I'm pretty sure he's gonna, yeah, just go head over to Mike. Once in a while, they get lucky and find someone who's uh, headed where they want to go. When I go to these extremes Wait. and people see this, I think it annoys a lot of them. It happened. I don't care. It saves money. If you don't understand that, I don't know how to speak to you. If a girl like Amy with the flattest ass out of all asses that I've seen is able to convince a horny guy for a free flight, what are you doing being single? It's the end of the year and yet again, you're still single. <laughs> is one of those types that I think will never change her cheapskate ways because it's just been ingrained into her lifestyle for so long that that's the way she is. This is how millionaire cheapskates live. I don't know how she did it with that personality, but she was able to get a free flight to LA. The secret to getting free things? Find someone who's horny. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate. If you did enjoy this video and all my videos throughout the year, please hit like, subscribe, and the bell icon. And this is your last chance to become a member to watch my videos two days early. Shout out to our members, Kaiki, Ivory, Amberlynn, Tamjo, and Little Assassin. I will see you guys next year now. Who needs their bathroom cleaned? I already got my gloves. Hey, for some extra cash, I'll do anything. <laughs> no, seriously.